We always expand our beans first before we start filling. And I think it makes a huge difference. So let's drop our barriers and connect them with our bodies. So just connect them with your body and just notice every molecule in your body, all your fingers and your wrists. Touch base with all the molecules right throughout your body. In your heart and your lungs. And your breasts. I like saying hello every part of my body. Good morning to you too. And gratitude for you, body. Your beautiful, gorgeous, beautiful, sexy body. Gratitude for you, body. Your gorgeous, beautiful, sexy body. And if we say that every day, who knows what our bodies will start creating. So gratitude for you guys too. You gorgeous, beautiful, sexy people. And sexy is like an energy of um, vitality. It's feeling good about yourself. That's what sexy is. Feeling really great about yourself. So let's pull the energies of that in, shall we? And also happiness. So expand your being in your arena. Hello. Hello. <laughs> can you hear me? I can hear you, darling. I don't know what I've done today. I've done something different. <laughs> oh, you're creating miracles. <laughs> I can hear your beautiful laughter. Thank you. Gorgeous <laughs> contribution. <laughs> so we're going to just expand our awareness right down deep into Kapitu Anuku and start pulling the energy, <coughs> the nurturing energies of joyfulness and kindness and caring. Pull those energies up into your body and fill your whole body with those energies. <coughs> And pull the energies from <coughs> run your nose right down and through your head and then fill your body from the other direction. And feel your body's relaxing as you drop those barriers and let those barriers go. And take the energy of you of who you be as an infinite being and expand your awareness and your being right out past the house that you live in in all directions. And notice how your awareness increases. Allow yourself to be aware of all the sounds outside of your house and be aware of everything that you can't see and everything that you can see. Notice, is it a calm day? Is there lots of rushing outside? Do you have any trees around you? Where the birds are? Is there any roadworks in your area? Just be aware and take your awareness out past everything that's going on in the city. And in Carol, take your awareness in all directions. And be aware of everything that's going on in your city, in the area that you live in. And now take your awareness out to the world. What's going on in the world that we need to be aware of today? 
the hell are the fires doing in Australia? What are the fires going on in the Amazon? What's happening with earthquakes around the world? And what are some of the wonderful things that are happening? Now, even though fires, we would say, they're a disaster. One of the things that I've been listening with, I've been doing a call with Gary Douglas called World Without End. And he says when there's a disaster, we tend to go to the place of, oh my God, that's the end of my world. And I notice it's really making a huge difference. So if anything that's a hiccup in our life, we go, oh gosh, is this the end of my world? So actually what any of us have been doing, is this the end of my world? And we go, oh, I'm create that too. Oh, good, back for the gourmet shorts, boys and girls. Keep on destroying and uncreating everywhere you've made any kind of hiccup in your life is the end of the world. And what if it was just the beginning of something wonderful and amazing? So keep on expanding your awareness out past the planet and the world and all the different cities and countries. And go right out past the planet. Go out to the sun. Keep going out past the sun. And let's go out a hundred thousand Ks in all directions and be the acoustical infinite being that you truly be. Now keep expanding your being. Just try and uncreate all in, any expectations or projections that you're putting on yourself and any projections and expectations that you're putting on these fallen energies. Oh, good boy, Papa Gourmet, shorts, boys and girls. So pull the energies of money. What is the energy of money? Huge amount of money. And what is a huge amount of money to you? Now, notice what your what your point of view is about how much money is a huge amount of money. And would you just try and create all your points of view about how much a huge amount of money might be to you? Like, oh, good boy, Papa Gourmet, shorts, boys and girls. amazing how limited our points of view are about what a huge amount of money might be. Is it a hundred thousand? Is it a million? What about a billion? Do you have the points of view that a billion dollars is just too much money and you could never do it? I noticed myself thinking the other day that Dane was saying that he was asking to be a billionaire. And I thought, well, I thought he was already pretty wealthy. I thought he would be close to being a billionaire. And if he's not a billionaire, how am I ever going to be a billionaire? So everywhere any of us have got those points of view, would you just try and create them all? Like, oh, good, big, proper, gourmet, shorts, and So we're going to pull billions of dollars into our awareness today, into our reality, and we're going to pull it into our being, into our bodies, and into our whole lives. Zillions and billions and billions of dollars of money in our bank accounts, cash, Let's pull billions of dollars of cash and currency. So all different currencies from the different countries. American dollars are good. 
UK dollars. No, they're UK pounds, aren't they? There's Aussie dollars. Pull all the dollars to the, into the front of you, into the back of you, into the sides of you, up through your feet, and down through your crown. Money come. Money come. Money come. Cash and cash. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> And what about all those precious stones? Rubies. Sapphires. Emeralds. Diamonds. And all the other ones that I haven't mentioned. Gold. Gold and silver. So pull those. The energies of those, pull the energy of what it feels like to have those, pull the energy of how it feels when you have beautiful jewellery, when you're wearing beautiful jewellery. I'm wearing my pearls today, Cal. And I'm going to be on the radio this morning. So I'm going to be talking about inspiring tips for people to make their days. So help me, you guys, and let's pull energy from all the people who are going to be listening today. Yes, they look beautiful. Yes, Carol. Yeah, we love these pearls. These are beautiful. Pearls for girls. The thing about um, South Sea pearls is they do, you buy them as, a, as an investment as well as something to wear. In fact, all, if you buy good jewellery, if you buy estate jewellery that's got intrinsic value, the value will increase. And pearls are valuable and are an increasing value because these have actually tripled Yes, I will tell you, Missy Barbie. These have actually probably tripled or even probably four value <coughs> since I first purchased them about maybe ten years ago. Because um because the pollution in the oceans is um stopping the growth of the pearls. Um so these are South Sea pearls. So if you're looking for pearls, get South Sea pearls. And the radio station that I'm going to be on today is called Radio Tainui. And it's a local Māori station here in Waikato. And I've got a spot there for the next four Tuesdays. And every, and that's the guy that um, actually came in. I ran his bars and he put me on to his Facebook Live um, bars. And I couldn't share it because it's a closed group. So I would have loved to have shared it. It was a really great interview. So let's keep pulling energy from all of those. Hi. Yeah. Keep pulling them. All those energies and be and allow those energies to percolate your whole body and your being, and allow yourself to be aware of the energy of what it would feel like to have so much money that I can say it's a problem to know what to do with it all. And how to invest it. To learn how to invest your money. And how to take care of it. And that's one of the thing about one of the things about having money is taking care of the money that you already have. And having gratitude for the money that you already have. 
and actually having gratitude for the money that you don't have as well. Now keep putting that energies, those energies, and be those energies today as you walk around the world. And be the energy of wealth. Oh, you can pull energy of wealth. Let's pull, let's pull that like a million times now. More directions, energies of wealth. And ease and joy and glory. So pull energy of ease and joy and glory. And knowing that glory means exuberant expression and abundance of life. Which is what you were asking for, Dad. Exuberant expression and abundance of life. That means it's about being enthusiastic and having that sexy vibration of being sexy. So give it a go today. And if anyone has, does anyone have any questions before I finish this recording? <laughs>